All right, so here we are again. Another solo overnighter in the woods. Now, speaking of solo overnighters, last week's video, solo overnight building a double-decker raised bed in the woods, part two, is up. Now, a lot of people are asking me, where did it go? Did you post it? What happened? Here's the deal. Push notifications from YouTube did not go out. So I apologize for that. Here's the icon right here. This is what it looks like. Scroll through my videos under shelters and you'll find that bad boy. Go ahead and watch it. It was outstanding. We had a raised fire and some good chow. Talking vegetables cooked in bacon grease with bacon and of course the ribeye. It was badass. Now, back to today's video. I'm thinking there's a lot of people out in the woods right now building shacks, shanties, cabins, and even forts. And most of the time they are referring to long-term shelters. But what if we were to build a fort in the woods using an emergency tarp or emergency tarps and a minimum kit? Something for short term, but still be considered a fort. So here we go, solo overnight building an emergency fort in the woods. Enjoy. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about this structure. I want to create a emergency fort in the woods using a minimum kit. So to do that, I want to use two emergency blankets, two emergency tarps. I want to put them in a lean-to configuration, not creating an A-frame. I want a small gap in between. To do that, I want to frame out one of my tarps and jut it over the top of the other one. This way, any rain that falls this way will be facilitated here as well as here. This also leaves a small gap in between for a fire or hot coals inside. I'm getting on this kick of thermal mass heaters. So I want to create some type of thermal mass heater on the inside that will release any smoke, but keep me warm all night.
Boom. Okay, so, so far so good. Once again, we're looking outstanding. There are wide branches here and here on both sides, and we have our horizontal, which is gonna give it that scissor or pivot action. This one right here, all I gotta do is pivot it that way and raise it up using a couple logs for a wall. This one over here, raise it up maybe about two logs. Over here, probably about four logs. And that will actually give it the small gap in between that we talked about in the beginning. This came out of nowhere. I was sitting over here having a bite to eat, getting some water, and all of a sudden, the clouds. And then, boom, we got snow. So I checked the weather report, and they're saying the next 12 to 14 hours, it's gonna be just like this. So, outstanding.
Let's go ahead and pause for a minute. All the gear in my videos, including Corporal's Corner merch, can be found in three places. One, my Amazon Influencer page. Two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And three, Teespring. All three links can be found inside my description box. Okay, so I titled this an emergency fort in the woods because there's so many takes on cabin shack shanties forts emergency shelter setups but no one's ever done this and so I wanted to go ahead and go a different direction utilize our emergency blankets we have one here and here but create a longer term survival shelter that will do the exact same thing that a space blanket will but be more rigid so we have two independent panels here that are lean-tos opposite of each other which creates an A-frame setup. But the real benefit is that they pivot. So using our emergency blanket here, in this case an orange one with three X's, we now have a panel that will move up and down or can be removed and signal for rescue. Our opposite one has a reflective side on the inside, so we can turn that bad boy around and utilize the sunlight as well and get that contrast and movement. So, an emergency fort in the woods. Okay, so that setup right there not only gives you an emergency shelter in the woods, something that can be used for a longer term survival situation, but also gives you a pretty cool fort in the woods. Or in this case, an emergency fort in the woods. Okay, so last thing on my agenda. I mentioned I want to play around with a thermal mass heater. So I'm thinking between these two posts towards the center, I want to go ahead and dig out a trench or a trough or maybe a small divot and we have that opening up here like this to release any smoke. I'm thinking a small fire or some coals or maybe even some hot rocks inside some coals. That way it radiates that heat off all night. It's gonna bounce off that reflective side and then back down to my body. Now someone heard me say rocks and they went, rocks, get a rope, they're gonna explode. Well, every single rock has the potential to explode. The difference is I wanna eliminate some of the variables. I'm not going to go to a creek, river, or a lake and pull rocks out. I'm not gonna do that.
And like my boy Ron Popeil says, set it and forget it. Okay, so what do we got going on here? We got steak, we got chicken, we got bacon, squash, Brussels sprouts, onion, potatoes, and cheese. Yes, vegetables. Look at that chunk of steak right there. Oh man. Mm. Piece of chicken, look at that. That's outstanding as well. My diet's gonna change in 2021. More protein, a lot bigger meals, and yes, vegetables. And it's not because I'm dying or something like, you gotta go see a cardiologist. Um, I'm actually healthy. I work out five to six days a week, and I've started doing a lot of cardio lately. One of my goals has always been to see Everest. Just sit there and look up and be like, I'm right here. And there's the highest spot in the world. And then at some point, if I had enough money and time and the proper training, I wouldn't mind actually getting to the top of that. Summit and just look up and be like, I am the highest spot in the world right now. I mean, I've always thought that would be cool. But baby steps. Um, so I'm going to hook up with the company September-ish 2021 and go check out the base camp. And I want to be in shape for that. While I'm there, get some training, and then, uh, you know, see what happens. Future goals. Ah, the food is outstanding AF. Now, time to start a fire, Remo Williams style.
This is crazy. It's exactly what it is, a thermal mass heater. The rocks are all together and the heat is coming off of that. My upper core is actually really warm. If I had a front and a back wall, it would probably heat this entire shelter up. Um, I'm thinking next time, make it a little bit longer, add a layer of hot coals, put the rocks on top and see what happens throughout the night. But this is insane. I can feel the heat right here. Yeah, it's venting off. It's badass. I mean, it's, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's radiating the heat off. And I'm happy with that. Yeah, this is working great. Outstanding AF. All right, lastly, to all my legions, make this short and sweet. Thank you. Thank you to all my new subs, all my old subs. Without you, I keep saying it, I'm nothing. You made this last year possible, and this is just a taste of 2021. We're going to get into all kinds of badassery, so stay tuned. And I really do appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for everything. Those that haven't done it yet, check out my website, corporalaf.com, and get on my email list. That way I can notify you when my new videos drop. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and talk about that shelter. Like we mentioned last week, this is just a taste of 2021. We do longer builds, different takes on builds, more elaborate builds, two or three, four or five day overnight builds, um, and basically use our imagination combined with our experience and skill set in our kit and see what we come up with. So look forward to that. So that shelter, we went ahead and used two emergency blankets, four Y branches, set those Y branches, and then framed out our tarps. Doing that created a pivoting tarp on both sides that we could go ahead and use an orange blanket or emergency space blanket with three X's so we could signal for rescue. The other panel gave us a reflective panel to signal for rescue, giving us that contrast and movement. Lastly, we went ahead and put some walls on there and then created a thermal mass heater which that actually worked. Um, on this one here, part one, there's no front or back walls or doors, so the heat did escape, but in that immediate vicinity, it was warm, and it actually bumped that heat up inside there. And to be brutally honest, going out and hanging an emergency tarp or creating that, I'll do that every time. Welcome back. Last night building an emergency fort in the woods was outstanding. It's always good to get out of with a minimum kit in your imagination and see what truly is possible. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are inside my description box. Please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further. Grab your cell phones and download the free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. As always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.